Hey guys, I'm here with the E-Jets 120mm Jet Fan Pro with a HET 800-68, which is 685 kV motor. I'm here to do a thrust test for, uh, test it to see if I'm going to have the thrust I need for the jet I'm going to put it in. I'm using the JP Hobby EDF test stand to read the thrust. I have Hobby Wing 200 amp ESC with two 6S Genace 5500 milliamp 60C batteries. And I do have the S Bus 2 telemetry for the Fataba radio, which is going to be read out on my screen. So we can see the amperage and the thrust of the fan. Now the first one I'm going to do without the thrust ring, I do have the thrust ring and I will do the second test with the thrust ring to see if we have a difference in thrust. Turn on the gauge here and here we go. Alright, so that first test run did not give me a whole lot of thrust. The highest thrust reading I saw was 8.6 pounds on the camera. Off camera, I did another run and I got about 9.4 pounds. I have now installed the thrust ring, ready to give it another test. Hopefully we can get a little bit more thrust out of it this time. Curious to see the difference in thrust with the thrust ring versus without. All right, here we go. Wow, that made a huge difference. It looks like we got about 19.4, which is about what they said it's supposed to do, and then it backed off to about 18.6. It should be plenty of thrust for my airplane. Well, actually, probably way too much. Come down and look at the telemetry. Looks like we had a max of about 105 amps. That's way better than they said it was supposed to be they said it was supposed to be about 129 130 and the esc got up to 107 degrees i know that's not a very good test since it's not a continuous run and the airplane's not flying so i'm happy with that test i think i'm gonna like this fan like i said 18 and a half to 19 pounds of thrust on a 17 to 17 and a half pound airplane that should be perfect. Speed controller is a little overkill, um, but that'll keep it cooler anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching.